how to relieve neck and shoulder pain. So when you have so much tension, you're sitting at your desk all day long. I'm doing a channel swap with Jamie Tan from The Enlightened Spoon. She's going to be with you. So don't forget to subscribe to her channel. It's amazing. Everything about movement, nutrition. So go to her channel and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe as well. We have some competitions and giveaways coming up. So make sure that you subscribe. Take it away, Jamie. Hi, I am so excited to be on here and thank you, Jenny, for having me on your channel. Don't forget to connect with us on our Instagram accounts right here. In this video, I'll guide you through some simple neck and shoulder exercises you can do while at your desk to prevent the back aches and tension headaches you might be feeling, especially when you've been working from home more often these days and perhaps not getting enough movement. I'll start off with my top three tips on how to ensure you actually remember to do these neck and shoulder stretches throughout your day and stick around till the end, as I'll also give you more juicy tips on some myofascial release you can do to help your shoulders and upper back. Say what? Myofascial release? <laughs> That's just a fancy term for self-massage. And who doesn't love a good massage, especially when you don't have to pay for it? If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Jamie Tan at Line Spoon. Today I'm doing a channel swap with Jenny so you can find her over on my channel at Enlightened Spoon. For more fitness trainings to keep you ripped and strong, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want more like this. So what I'm seeing a lot of with my wellness clients these days is everyone is stuck at home on Zoom call after Zoom call. There's a lot less daily movement because things like your daily commute when you're taking public transport is gone. Many people are no longer in an office and they're working from home. So even simple acts like walking from one meeting room to the next meeting room has become clicking off one video call and clicking onto the next video call. Not much full body movement involved in a mouse click. So if you're not aware or hyper vigilant of keeping up with giving yourself movement moments throughout your day, what can tend to happen is many hours go by and then you realize Oh crap, I've been sitting in the same position for like three to four hours now. Now, I am not a physical therapist. I am a yoga teacher and nutritional therapist. So while some of these exercises might help you, if you've been having constant chronic pain anywhere in your body, you should definitely go see a physiotherapist or osteopath just to ensure that there's nothing more serious underlying your complaint. Before we get into the neck and shoulder stretches you can do at your desk, here are three tips you can incorporate into your daily working from home routine to ensure that you're actually getting not just these neck and shoulder stretches, but also more movement throughout your day. Because this helps keep the muscles active, helping circulation. What are these movement moments and how do you incorporate them into your day? My top three tips are, number one, put a calendar notification every hour to remind you to move. This could be five minutes before the hour. So for example, at 8.55 a.m., 9.55 a.m., 10.55 a.m., etc., and so on and so forth. This will start to become your daily cue and habit that five minutes before the hour, it's time for your movement moment. Number two, vary up your movements. To keep things more interesting for yourself, as well as to work more and different muscles, you want to vary up the movements that you do. For example, walking around the block, stretching at your desk, walking up and down the stairs. And if you really want to go full on, go for lunges, squats, planks, burpees, star jumps. It's just five minutes at the end of every hour, so by the end of the day, you would have gotten close to an hour's worth of workouts in between your workday. You can check out more of Jenny's videos for more ideas. Number three, change sitting and standing positions frequently. If you've got a standing desk at home, alternate between standing and sitting every hour or so. I basically just sold my dining table so I could get this home office standing desk work situation set up at home and I am so much happier now. And if you don't have a standing desk at home, MacGyver it and alternate between sitting at your dining table and standing at the kitchen counter or any other slightly higher console you might have just to switch it up. Those top three tips were easy enough, right? What did you think? Let Jenny and me know in the comments below. And do hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're getting value out of this video so far. Now let's talk about the kinds of neck and shoulder stretches you can do while at your desk. 
What tends to happen at the best of times, even when we have a proper desk and proper chair situation happening at home, when we're sitting in front of a computer like you might be right now, notice what your posture is looking and feeling like. What's going on? We often tend to hunch over, round the shoulders as we're typing, and perhaps one hand is extended on a mouse. So there's a lot of closing into the chest action like this going on. So what you want to do instead is every so often move the spine, upper back, shoulders and neck in the opposite direction, opening up the chest and heart, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And if it's available to you, maybe looking up to the sky and dropping the head back. So if I look at you from the side, rather than rounding the spine, you are arching in the opposite direction into a back bend. So you're working on spinal flexion and extension. And also not forgetting spinal rotation, which are basically twists to the right and left sides. So here are some neck and shoulder stretches you can do to activate movement in all of these directions. Let's start at our desks right now. So I'm facing you, but you can literally just be standing at your desk. And let's start very simply with some neck rolls. As you inhale, really stretch the neck up and drop the head back. As you exhale, tuck the chin into the chest and just feel a nice long stretch down the back of your neck. As you inhale, once again, dropping the head back. Deep belly breaths. As you exhale, draw the chin into the chest and stretch the neck out. Inhale back to center. Now on the next inhale, dropping the right ear down to the right shoulder. And then feel that nice stretch down the side of the neck all the way down to the tops of the shoulders. If you'd like to take this a little bit deeper, you can also use the hand and very gently pull the head down, getting a deeper stretch into the side of the neck and to the top of the shoulder. Inhale back to center. As you exhale, dropping the left ear over to the left shoulder, feel that nice, beautiful stretch down that right side of the neck down the top of the shoulder as well. A few deep belly breaths in. If you'd like to make, take it a little bit deeper, pulling very gently so you get a deeper stretch into that neck. Beautiful, inhale back to center, very nice. Now looking over to the right shoulder, feeling that stretch down the other side. Inhale, just looking across to the left side this time round. Exhale here, inhale back to center, and then exhale over to the other side once again. Inhale as you look over to the other side, and exhale, pull very gently. Now from here, let's do some head rolls. So as you exhale, draw the chin into the chest, and then very slowly, gently roll the head on a few times. There could be certain points in your neck and shoulder as you do these head rolls that you start to feel like, ooh, that's a tight spot. And when you find that tight spot, simply hang on. For me, it's just right here. Ugh. Simply hang on for a little bit and use the breath. Inhale here. And as you exhale, release. On the exhale, release that tension. Beautiful. Now let's reverse very slowly, gently. The more slowly you can go with this, the deeper you can get into those tight, juicy spots. So you're working with the breath. Right, very slowly as you inhale, swinging the head to one side. As you exhale, dropping the head back. Beautiful. Now inhale back up to center once again. So let's work with some shoulder protraction and retraction. And while you're at your desk, simply placing the hands on the top of the desk, maybe out in front of you so your arms are straightened. Now, if you pull the shoulder blades towards each other, Draw the heart towards the front. That's retraction. As you exhale, round the spine, pull the shoulder blades away from each other, draw the chin into the chest, and then pull, 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 pull the shoulder blades away from each other, draw the navel into your spine. That's protraction. Inhale, draw the heart forward, and then pull and squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Beautiful, so a few rounds of this, working with the inhales and exhales. So as you exhale around the spine, as you inhale, draw the heart forwards. If you're not quite feeling this, maybe what you might wanna try as well is inhale, arms outstretched in front of you. As you exhale, cactus the arms, 
and then as you draw the elbows behind you, you really work on squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you. Beautiful. And a few breaths here as you squeeze the shoulder blades to it together. And then release. Now round the spine. So that could also work really nicely. So go really slowly. Exhale here. As you inhale, draw the heart forward. Draw the elbows down towards the floor. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. And then inhale, release, and round the spine. So a few times this way. Beautiful. Now when you release, let's roll the shoulders a few times. Yeah, very slowly, making huge circles with the shoulders. And then going in the other direction. Let's just start to get the shoulders feeling nice and loose and limbered up. Beautiful. And then working on some cactus back bends. So inhale, arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the elbows down. Lift the heart up. Now, think of this as a back bend. So if I look at you from the side, right, as you draw the elbows down, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together and you're lifting the heart up towards the sky. And then you drop the head back. If this feels really uncomfortable for you, keep thinking of drawing the chin into the chest, but still drawing the elbows down and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep lifting the heart up, even as you tuck the chin in. So you work into this forwards and upwards movement at the same time, right? What are we talking about? Instead of like hunching over and, and, and curling over on your desk, you're really thinking of opening up the heart towards the sky. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, cactus back bend once again, drawing the elbows down, squeezing the shoulder blades together, lifting the heart up, dropping the head back. Beautiful. As you inhale, release. As you exhale, cactus back bend one more time. Beautiful. Inhale, release. Now, just loosen it up and shake it up and see how you feel. Now let's work on some spinal rotations towards the left and right. So as you're standing or sitting at your desk, as you exhale, simply turn and twist around and look over the right shoulder. What you might want to do is, if you're sitting on a chair, which I'm not, but you're placing your hands on the back of the chair. So imagine my wall is the back of my chair, and I'm simply looking over my right shoulder, twisting and turning, getting a nice twist in the spine, very gently. Inhale back to center, and then let's go in the opposite direction. So twist and turn, look over the left shoulder, placing the hands on the wall or on the chair behind you, and just think of twisting the spine open. Beautiful. Inhale back to center. That should feel pretty good. If you want to stand up, maybe a few rounds of just Free arms, allow the arms to hang loose and swing from side to side. And that's all you need to do. Super simple neck and shoulder stretches, releases. Just remember to do this a few times while you're at your desk. Now for the bonus round, myofascial release or self-massage. If you find you're often in neck or shoulder pain and with frequent use of the mouse, your shoulder blade on one side might often get jammed. You want to use a trigger point therapy ball for the neck and shoulders or a foam roller for the lower back. I'll put links in the description below for where you can buy these. Now if you don't have a massage ball, you can also use a tennis ball or a smaller lacrosse ball. You might need to experiment till you find the right size and hardness. So with your tennis ball, lacrosse ball, or trigger point therapy ball, all you need to do is just place this ball into the tight spots where your shoulder blade might be. So if this is sort of where my shoulder, the bone is, is along the side. And all you need to do is just roll yourself against the wall. Simply very slowly go up and down with the ball or left and right. You can do this against the wall like this right now, or if you want a little bit more pressure, you can also lie down on the floor if you have a yoga mat that might be quite intense. Sometimes what might help is if you place a towel over the ball, especially if you are lying down on it because it's your whole body weight on it. Sometimes you could sit on the floor with your back against the sofa with this 
literally in all of those knots and it's such a beautiful release. And always remember to work with the breath. So inhale into the tight spots and then as you exhale, sink a little bit deeper, getting a deeper myofascial release while you're at it. Don't forget that the pain at the back is also referring to the similar point at the front where the pec is. What you want to do is hold the ball against the wall and then also roll the front part where the pectoral muscles are. It might be really uncomfortable with your face smooshed up against the wall. Sometimes what helps is if you find a point in the house where you've got an edge of a wall, so you don't have to be smashing your face into the wall, but it's the edge of the wall is right here. You place this in and then you simply just roll up and down. Very easy, simple self-massage technique that you can do at home for free. Next, you have your foam roller. I love this trigger point therapy one because it's got a bit of a grid, but it's also got a bit of a flatter part as well. So with this one, you want to be lying down on the floor or really ideally on a yoga mat. And then you very simply roll up and down. I'll show you here against the wall, although ideally you should be doing this on the floor. So imagine the wall is the floor and then you're just rolling up and down. So into the shoulders and all the way down. I love this one, especially on the lower back. So it's super handy, a ball like this, a foam roller like this. Um, these are just the few different myofascial techniques that you can do to help you. So you can do any of these myofascial release exercises while you're watching Netflix or just before bedtime to help you wind down. I've also got a chair yoga video you can do while you're on or in between Zoom calls right at your desk. I hope these tips have helped you and if you need more ideas on how to vary up your movements throughout the day, Jenny will also be giving you some resistance and strength trainings you can do over on my channel. And on my channel, you'll get yoga and meditation videos to help bring some calm into your busy life, just like today's. And other times you'll get nutrition, fitness and lifestyle tips, all the mind, body, soul moments you can incorporate into your day to help you stress less yet accomplish more. So I hope to welcome you over there. And now over to you, Jenny. What tips do you find useful? Let me know in the description below. Thank you so much, Jamie. It's been amazing to have you in my channel. I hope to see you another time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you soon. Next week, we're going back to our 15 minutes at up workouts. Please accept my apologies because I have not been posting as often as I would like, but I've had a few issues with my health, as you, you'll know on the next video. Anyways, have an amazing week and I'll speak to you soon.